Hey everybody, Rocky Mountain Figures here. Today we're going to be going over day two of the uh, Hasbro PulseCon announcements and reveals for G.I. Joe, Transformers, and Power Rangers. So once again, we are just going to be taking a look at all the uh, reveals and announcements for specifically the G.I. Joe Classified Series, Power Rangers Lightning Collection, and Transformers Studio Series or Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. That's really what we're going to focus on, not going to focus on anything else. Just like yesterday, it was just mainly Star Wars Black Series and Marvel Legends. Now it's just going to be those three properties. So let's get into it. I uh, woke up a little late, so I uh, had to do some catch up this morning on the live stream. But I got to uh, all the reviews, I hope. If I miss anything, just let me know in the comments. All good. It seems like you guys did like the last video, so definitely happy to be doing another one of these. But let's get into the G.I. Joe announcements first. So one more disclaimer before we get into the G.I. Joe Classified Series announcements. I do not know much about the uh, G.I. Joe uh, characters, you know. I do not know much about the Beast Wars characters, which again we'll get into when we talk about Transformers. And I will probably not know much about anything Power Rangers besides Mighty Morphin. So just bear with me here. Uh, I'm just gonna go over the toy new that's all but I you know for G.I. Joe I am actually gonna be trying to learn more about those characters as I am interested even though I did not grow up with them so uh, hopefully uh, you know in the future I can have a little bit more uh, information a little bit more wisdom in the G.I. Joe universe so let's get into those announcements. So for their first announcement uh, for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line is this character Zartan. So uh, I believe he's a popular character. I, I have actually seen this character uh, and he looks pretty cool. It looks interesting. I think he's on the Cobra team. So another bad guy for your Cobra shelf. Then next up uh, for our reveals and announcements is another Cobra Trooper or as they dubbed it the Cobra Infantry Trooper which Let's be honest, it's just a Cobra Trooper with some added deco and a kind of a repaint. But finally, we are going to be getting just a standard Cobra Trooper in the main line for G.I. Joe. So no exclusive this time. This is going to be just in the uh, main series. So it's going to be available in most retails. I'm very happy about this. The only difference uh, compared to the Target Cobra Trooper is that it does not come with the goggles nor the sniper. It just comes with two pistols, the knife and the rifle. But nonetheless, still great. Anyway, next up for reveals is uh, two unfortunate Target exclusives, man. Oh my goodness. They are going to be coming out with the Cobra Mission Island Firefly. And I think this is another popular character. This is also another bad guy. So uh, very cool. And he has a lot of awesome accessories as well. But for Target, we are going to get the Viper Trooper. Or I think that all they said was Viper. Uh, this guy is another army builder looks awesome. I think I might try to get him, but I don't know how that's gonna go Although he's not really on a you know a must for me as he doesn't really look too military ish or like ninja ish You know something that I can fit in with all lines. This looks mainly GI Joe, so we'll see what I think about it, but uh, That's pretty much all they said for GI Joe classified series next up is for transformers and uh, They were talking about the kingdom uh, series which is going to be the last one in the War for Cybertron trilogy they also shared some nice artwork right here but as for their first reveal they revealed Cheetor which once again I did not grow up with Beast Wars I did not know anything about Beast Wars so bear with me here but this is Cheetor looks looking very sweet in his cheetah mode and then we have Rat Trap right there Looks like the robot mode for Rat Trap needs a little bit more paint, but nonetheless, pretty cool for those fans. You know, very happy for those fans that are going to get these. Next is Cyclonus, which I am familiar with. I am actually a big fan of Cyclonus, so very happy that they're going to come out with this. I believe this is a Voyager class, whereas the last two are going to be deluxe classes. And speaking of Voyager class, we have Megatron in his um, T-Rex form. This actually looks awesome. So, um... Once again, very happy for those Beast War fans. And uh, they revealed another Optimus Prime figure, which, come on, let's face it, they're never going to stop making Optimus Prime figures. They're never going to stop improving. But this is uh, not exactly an improvement. This is actually a smaller Optimus Prime, as you see in this next picture. 
<laughs> right here next to the uh, leader class Optimus Prime. So this is going to be a part of their core class series. So these are going to be like smaller ones. So uh, that's interesting. Then they're going to come out with these fossilizers. Uh, starting with this uh, this one right here. I totally forgot the name, but looks cool. I really like the fossil uh, fossilized dino mode right there. Looks awesome. And uh, next for the fossilized series, we have this T-Rex right here, uh, who can also be fossilized into weapons. So they're also weaponizers. And as you see right there, there's another reveal, Warpath. This one I'm excited about. Warpath is, again, one of my favorite Autobots. So very happy to have that. Lastly, for the uh, Kingdom series, here we have uh, Black Arachnid. I believe that's her name. Once again, don't know much about Beast Wars, but there she is. Enter Tarantula or Spider Mode. This looks creepy, man. So uh, we'll see what the kids think about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, getting into some... Uh... Oh, yeah, actually, we have one more reveal. Sorry, almost forgot. Optimal Primal. There you go. This thing looks sick, man. I don't know what it is about this, this picture in particular, but... I think the lighting, the orange, just reflects really well off this figure. And then here is Optimal Primal in his monkey mode, or his gorilla mode. And that's uh, pretty much it. They also showed off the packaging for the uh, the series right there. A little bit different from what we're used to uh, with the Siege and uh, uh, Earthrise, but still pretty cool. These figures are also going to come with a trading card as well. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it for the Kingdom series. They also kind of revealed, I'll just go over real quickly, some Transformers Prime figures. Here we have Breakdown and a Viacon. And next, we have a Megatron with some model kit accessories. So you can build some weapons right there. And next up for reveals for the R.E.D. or Red Transformers series line where the Transformers don't transform. We have two reveals. One is the Transformers Prime RC. And the other is a Beast Wars Cheetor, both of which look very nice, but I don't know if I'll be collecting these because I love it when my Transformers transform. And lastly, for reveals, we have these two red Autobot clones. I don't know much about these, but I believe these are going to be Amazon exclusive right here. Okay, so lastly, going over the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line and the reveals for uh, later this year and next year, starting with the Power Rangers Zeo Megazord figure right here this is uh, pretty big man and it also has a different alternate look in case you want to take off those back wings and uh that helmet or whatever again don't know much about the zeo the only real line i know about is the mighty morphin line so uh, bear with me here but the next reveal were some deluxe figures or they're gonna dub this as their monsters line so they're gonna bring out the big monsters from uh, those specific power ranger episodes such as the king sphinx so this looks pretty cool they're also going to come out with a pumpkin wrapper and i think it's going to have like pumpkin head accessories so you can put them on your uh, power rangers and then uh, speaking of power rangers they're going to come out with some power rangers versus two packs so the first one they revealed was an spd b squad versus a squad blue ranger and then the next one they revealed was a in space red ranger versus astro nima I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure I butchered it, but there it is right there. And uh, for the standard release, these actually got leaked earlier this week, but they're going to do a standard release of the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. So it's going to be released from the two pack, but they did specify that this is supposed to be like the evil Green Ranger. And then uh, he also comes with an extra head scope, as you see in the next photo. And uh, also, I, just, I forgot to disclaim some of the photos I did not take from the live stream because uh, I was just busy around that time. I only like attended just a little bit. So uh, most of the shots I got off of their Instagram. So that's why there's, you see the white bars on the side. But anyway, here's the new putty. Uh, I believe this is just gonna have a vest. That's gonna be the main difference. You can have this like as a putty captain or you know, putty leader or something like that. Comes with a cool amount of accessories. Next up is a Dino Red Ranger. This looks also pretty cool. And then uh, one weird announcement for these figures is that they're also going to be coming out with a box variant for these figures. So uh, they're going to have the standard white box release, but then they're also going to come out with a black box release exclusively at Target. From the information that I gathered, the figures nor the accessories are any different than the standard release. 
so I don't know why they're putting their money and time into making the boxes black but uh, who knows but here's a full frontal shot and an angle shot of how the boxes look for the putty and they're also gonna re-release a white ranger in this box so if you missed out on on the first time hey here's your second try and the last reveal for the power rangers lightning collection is this metallic pink ranger from the mighty Morphin line this is gonna be exclusively at hasbro pulse i'm probably not gonna pick this up it's definitely not for me uh, but all these reveals look awesome and you know what if you are a fan of any of these Power Rangers shows then I highly recommend you get them because I can guarantee you these are some top-notch figures so anyway that's gonna end the Hasbro Pulse Con 2020 what did you guys think of it personally I enjoyed it it was way better than um than I expected it to be it was way better than the uh, comic-con at home uh, 2020 which was a bit of a disappointment there wasn't really anything happening no re new reveals though I must say I think in terms of virtual cons go I still think that DC fandom is the best but Hasbro Pulse was a close second anyway um, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this uh, two-part video series uh, of my reactions of these announcements and reveals uh, tell me what you guys think of these uh, types of announcement news videos you know maybe I can do this from time to time when there's like big events like you know these has con or maybe like a new york comic con whatever so maybe i can uh, continue doing this just for bigger events so uh let me know what you guys think please feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you later